Welcome back, and uh, when we last left off, this was up on the machine. Uh, this is the uh, the plug for the various different um, baffles or ribs that make up the uh, wing straight tank on the left and right side. And so this is done now in the foam and ready to be glass, so that came out alright. And next up on the machine was this uh, funky looking one, which is basically the two leading edges of the wing strakes that attach to the door, to each of the doors. So it kind of looks a little weird there, but it's just starting out. looks like a, a big castle or a wedding cake or something. Uh, anyway, so that one's uh, underway, as you can see. And here we are quite a lot further along. All the uh, paths that encompass the flat end mill have been run, and so now I'm actually using the long ball end mill just to run down this uh, this inside face because it was the easiest way to to get in there without sort of bumping the machine into it which actually I did when we were doing the rough cut so live and learn uh, anyway so that's basically stepping down there to, to finish that one off and you'll see it uh, shortly So with that one done, it was time to switch over to the left hand side upper wing, wing strake plug. And this is just starting out now, cutting the first uh, part of the flange there. So you already saw the right one uh, the other day, so this is uh, basically the mirror image of that one. And here's a better look of this, um, these particular ones for the door um, strakes. So each of those will just sort of make up, up one part that gets uh, bonded to the door skin and sort of um, mates up with the leading edge of the wing. So over the weekend um, Chris and uh, Roberto had started sanding on the first one of these lower door strakes that have the wing, uh, sorry have the wheel wells uh, incorporated so they made quite a lot of progress on that and here you can see uh, Zach's doing a little bit more sanding, a little bit of fill along with uh, Jeff doing a little bit of clean up work on some of the transitions. And here's a look at these A-frame molds that were laid up last week. They've been released now, just need to be cleaned up. So these are the ones that actually go between the aft bulkhead and the firewall uh, bulkhead. So they came out nicely. And also over the weekend, Chris and Roberto uh, trimmed and uh, cleaned up these um, five pieces that make up the uh, first of those outer door frame molds. So those are all sorted out now, just need to be basically bolted into place and waxed and we can lay that part up. And it didn't take long, but here's the first of these uh, lower wing strakes, so that's in primer now. And um, actually it's pretty good that it got in primer so quick, so it's kind of testament to how quick the, or how well the machine's doing now that it didn't require that much work in terms of sanding. And here's a few other plugs that got uh, primed as well, so that's the rear uh, seat mounts and there's the front seat mounts and there's uh, one of the door uh, left hand side door frame that so that one's close now to be getting the last sanding uh, prior to waxing and next up on the machine here just uh, running the swarf cuts around the edges there with the transition from the flange uh, from the field to the flange and as you can see it's um, doing a nice job just cleaning up that transition and here's the next pass running up the back side so it used to be when I run these they would sort of gouge a little bit because of the, the sort of slop that was in the Z but now as you can see there it doesn't leave any sort of extra gouge it's just taking out that little bit of putty that um, is in between the two different uh, faces there So today Devin and Zach uh, put the black top coat on uh, this particular plug. So this is the one for the lower side of the glare shield or the underside part of the glare shield. So that one's uh, ready to have its, uh, or just about ready to have its layers of, of uh, fiberglass and carbon on there. And also they did this one. So this is the firewall one. So they're basically prepping that um, with the top coat. And so that can be uh, done a little bit later. And actually, Roberto and Chris uh, will be coming in this afternoon, or did come in this afternoon. You'll see that they actually started working on that one. And this is the right side upper wing strake, and I put this one back on the machine to run around that leading edge with a much closer step over because I noticed it was at a little bit faceted, and so actually it's much smoother now. 
And Jeff spent the afternoon uh, releasing the second of the uh, set of molds for the other outer door frame um, setup. So there's uh, three of the pieces there. Obviously, they need to be cleaned up. But um, you had the same sort of problems a little bit getting out of there. It's a little tight. Um, but in the end, the mold came out fine and no damage to the mold. A little bit of damage to the plug, but nothing that we can't repair. And there's uh, one of the other parts, as you can see. It just needs to be cleaned up. And lastly, here's uh, Roberto and Chris, and they're working on laying down the uh, lightweight um, fiberglass, the first layer on that firewall plug, or to create the firewall mold. So that one again, uh, lightweight, and then a couple of heavyweights, and then the rest of the heavy the next day. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching.